Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saver CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to look at the Shop Saver IS Series CNC router. This machine was designed to provide Shop Saver CNC technology in a high production level solution with up to six foot by 12 foot capacity. The frame itself is the foundation of the machine. The Shop Saber IS series features a one-piece all-welded structural steel frame. This is the same type of steel that's used to build bridges. By the way, all our steel is sourced in North America. We prefer structural steel because it's very consistent and that means it's predictable and that makes it work well with our engineering design software. You know, a CNC machine's accuracy is determined in large part by the underlying machining on the frame structure. It's not enough just to use the best materials. That's why we machine the frames on the Shop Saber IS series CNCs in a single setup on an aerospace mill. These large milling centers allow us to provide truly accurate mounting surfaces for items like guide rails, ball screws, and mounting brackets. All of this is done in a single setup, so the accuracy of the machining becomes the accuracy of the aerospace mill. The more accurate the frame, the more accurate the machine. For us, it doesn't make sense to cut corners in this area, especially if it impacts machine performance. One of the characteristics of our machine tool grade CNC routers at ShopSaber is the large thick wall tubular steel we use to make the frame components. Many competitors use much smaller tubes to save money. Some even use sheet metal form in a tube shape to make you think they're using structural steel. The Shop Saber IS series is truly a machine to a grade CNC router. Not only does this make the machines last longer, the edge finishes and accuracies are much better. Another advantage of using large thick wall structural steel is that it allows us to employ a stacked steel design approach. Here's what that means. The structural tubes are stacked, then welded together to provide a single, all welded, unitized structure. Components are strengthened from their associations with adjacent components. The entire process creates a synergism that's impossible to achieve any other way. In contrast, Many other machines use much smaller legs with four, six posts. In effect, this suspends the machining forces in the air. This increases the risk for vibration and of course harmonics. The advantage of our stack steel approach for the end user is that the machine frame produces fewer harmonics. That means better edge finishes. This is shop saber engineering at work. The gantry and gantry supports are also made from thick wall structural tubular steel, just like the base frames on the Shop Saber IS series CNC's. This complements the base frame design and actually extends the effectiveness of the overall mechanical approach. Using larger tubes not only stiffens the structure, but lets us increase gantry height clearances. These machines come standard with 12 inch clearance under the gantry and 16 inches of Z-axis travel and that's a part of our exclusive Super Z technology. The additional travel actually lets you take advantage of the gantry clearance. This is another area where a lot of our competitors cut corners to save money. And just like the frame, our gantry structure on the IS series machines are also machined on a precision mill. This practice has a direct impact on both edge finish when cutting and the overall part accuracy. As with the machine bases, large tubes are also used for gantry structures. The larger surface areas give us more options for component spacing and that too increases machine performance. One of the greatest developments in recent years for machine design has been the advent of finite element analysis, sometimes simply referred to as FEA. This is a computerized analytical system that allows us to test mechanical designs under simulated loads. That's actually how we determine optimal component positioning on the Shop Saber IS series CNC's. One clear way you can see Shop Saber's FEA capabilities in action is in the component spacing. First, FEA is used to determine the optimum sizes for components based on the loads. For instance, contour guide rails. It's also used to determine the optimum positioning for these components on the frames. By widening the guide rail spacing and using larger tubes, we've been able to increase machining stability, and that's had a huge effect on edge quality. 
think of it this way. A football player winds his stance to get a stability advantage over his opponent on the other team. It's really the same idea. You know, there's another area of machine design that a lot of competitors ignore, and that is the uprights that connect the gantry to the base frame. These are FEA-derived designs also, and as you can see, these large tubular weldments are inherently strong. Our gantry is built for performance. When you use quality structural components and the finest FEA design principles, superior gantry clearances can be achieved. That means you can do more with your ShopSaber IS Series CNC router. Linear guide rail technology is really the first part of machine motion. Precision contoured linear guide rails are used on all axes on the IS Series CNCs. We start by machining the datums where the rails mount in our milling phase. This assures that the rails mount perfectly straight onto the frames. Then we add the 25 millimeter precision contour linear guide rails for each axis. This is an area where competitors may cut corners to save money. Finally, we use our quad roller linear bearings on each axis to make sure loads are adequately transferred as the machine accelerates and decelerates. The end result is smooth motion, high accuracy, and less maintenance. Ball screws used in the X, Y, and Z axis actually create the machine motion. This is what makes it a member of the machine to a grade C and C's at ShopSaber. We do this simply because ball screws introduce no play into the drive system and are the top rated drive technology in the world. The same thing that makes precision contour guide rails accurate makes ball screws accurate. Precision, high speed, hardened bearings following a precision path. The result is no play. This allows us to increase the load capacities and cutting forces while reducing the overall wear and maintenance requirements for the machine. This translates into superior accuracies and greater edge finishes. The ShopSaber IS series is the industry's most affordable, dual-driven, complete ball screw machine. A lot of companies that we compete with really cut corners in this area and use cheaper rack and pinion systems in the longer axis. Then they try to play it off as if they're doing what much higher cost machines are doing. But the facts remain, ball bearings are more accurate than any other approach. In fact, the same competing companies even continue to use ball screws in the Z axis, which incidentally happens to be the most demanding axis drilling, pocketing, 3D surface machining, and even tool changer are all heavily dependent on the Z-axis accuracy. For us, it just makes sense to use the best technology in all the axes. Now, another advantage of our total ball screw approach is that we drive both ends of the gantry utilizing our whip-free ball screw technology. This produces extremely smooth Y-axis machine motion. And there's another important mechanical reason why the ShopSaber total ball screw approach is superior to the competitor's rack and pinion systems. The actual ball screw contact area is nearly seven inches. This adds an additional mechanical component to the design and injects a stiffening effect. Compare that to the minimal contact area of rack and pinion, one inch or even less. Our total ball screw approach supplies over seven times the drive system support that's normally found on rack and pinion machines. The consequence is superior performance. When you put all this together, the shop saver approach produces the best accuracy and the best edge finishes in its class. Oh, by the way, ball screws last a lot longer than rack and pinion systems, so the actual cost of ownership is much less. Mitsubishi closed loop AC digital servos actually apply the motion on the IS series CNC's. The glass encoders incorporated into these drive motors produce an enormous amount of positional data on the machine. In fact, by the numbers, in many cases, the Mitsubishi motors we use are 20 times more accurate than the competitor solutions. When you hear the term closed loop, that simply means that the motors feed this data back to the control, enabling it to detect abnormalities and notify you before problems can occur. Plus, there are Y-axis drive motors on both ends of the gantry, providing an enormous amount of power to accelerate and decelerate the gantry mass. Many competitors' machines use less expensive off-brand servos or even stepper motors to cut cost. The advantage of the servos we use is that they can accelerate as much as four times quicker than stepper motors and provide unprecedented machine accuracy. A good explanation of what servos do is to compare them to the GPS in your pickup. If you miss a turn, the GPS recalculates your route and you still get to the destination. 
a traditional lower cost motor will not have that GPS capability. In this case, if you miss a turn in the pickup, you get lost missing a step on a machine because you try to cut too fast or too deep or simply overload the machine is like missing a turn on the pickup, except the next move on the machine is random. The results are unpredictable and can be outright dangerous. A Mitsubishi servo-driven machine will give you a competitive edge. The Shop Saber Machine Controller is the final part of machine motion. We designed the Shop Saber Machine Controller on a powerful Mitsubishi platform. The operational part of the machine control includes, of course, a control stand with industrial casters and at machine solid state hard drive. This gives you the ability to manage files and even run CAD CAM software at the machine control. Plus, our Shop Saber point and click technology makes this easy to manage. But there's more to machine control than just mechanics. There is a people part of machine control that relates to how easy it is for the operator to run the machine. When we designed the machine control, we did not want to create an engineering position for the machine operator. The thing that helped us achieve that most was the development of the Shop Saber machine control user interface. Everything the operator needs to run the control on a daily basis is included on a single screen. Let me show you how well this works. We started by putting everything the operator needs to run the machine on a single screen. Let me show you how this is organized. What you see down here actually reflects the machine table or the work envelope. And when you see this red dot here, that's the current location of the spindle. So as I jog the machine around, you'll see that move. That's what's happening actually on the machine itself. And also if you watch up above there, you'll see the dimensions up here change. So you always have live dimensions up here. Now, the operational buttons are grouped together. So for instance, over here, these have to do with jogging the machine. So you'll see the X axis, the Y axis, and of course Z, and I can jog in fast, medium, or slow, or for special setup sometimes, I may wanna just move a thousandth of an inch at a time, and that's what that does. So when I'm touching tools off, that's really common to use that. Now, some of the other buttons that we use on a regular basis are grouped together here. For instance, when you see this button that says home, Home is a mechanically determined position by sensor. So the first thing we do each day is home the machine. So we press that button and the machine homes. Now other things that we use a lot, for instance, where this says tool HT, that's called a tool height switch. So when we wanna put a tool in and touch it off, we simply hit that button, it takes care of that. Now there's a couple areas down here, X, Y, zero and Z, zero. X, Y, zero basically, lets us decide where we want to place uh, the corner of the part. So for instance, let's jog over here and we'll move down here and let's say this is going to be our origin. And we'll come back to that in a minute, but when I hit that, you'll see it. So now that's where the corner of the part's going to be that I'm gonna run on here. We have the same thing for Z. We also have the ability to say, okay, this is where I want the Z zero plane to be. So I jog it down to that and press that button. All right, now this area over here actually displays where the program is going to be. So now let's start by loading a program. So I go File, Open, select the program, and I'm going to hit this button which lets me view it. There's where the part's going to be. It's on the table. You see where the origin is. All I have to do to make this part is hit this button. And then you'll see the actual moves on the machine live on the screen here. So there's the spindle. There's where it's starting. That's all it takes to run one of these machines. As you can see from the demonstration, this controller is user-friendly and quick to navigate. We understand the hardest thing for most new users is really the software side. We spend just as much time developing a system that allows our customers with no experience to learn the operation in a very short amount of time. To tell you the truth, many CNC machines today are clunky and hard to work with so hard that the learning curve may be weeks or months, and in the end, you may have to pay someone to train you on site. Not so with Shop Saber, and with the Shop Saber system, not only is it easy to run the machine, we can remotely log into the machine and do any online assistance or machine diagnostics that might become necessary. In fact, these machines are so easy, we give you free lifetime support and training. That's confidence at its best. The development of Super Z technology was the result of an engineering project to increase the actual amount of Z travel that was available. 
we wanted customers to be able to machine on a part if it would fit under the gantry. Finite element analysis, FEA software, once again was used to design the tool plate stiffeners that permitted us to accomplish this with no sacrifice in edge finish or part accuracy. An important part of Super Z was the addition of air balancers. These take the mass, which is the weight of the tool plate assembly, off the actual ball nut. This allows us to increase the acceleration and deceleration in the Z-axis without adding additional wear. The end result is faster 3D machining, tool changing, and drilling. Now keep in mind, in 3D machining, the slowest axis determines the speed limit. Since this is almost always the Z axis, increasing the machining speed in Z has a profound impact on the time required for machining 3D surfaces on these machines. The last item to consider is by extending the Z travel to 16 inches, you can run a, a traditional four inch long tool and still clear the 12 inch gantry clearance. This opens up so many machining possibilities. The machine here is equipped with our HSD ATC spindle, which stands for Automatic Tool Changer. The Shop Sabre IS Series CNC routers are available with a variety of spindle options. These are available in both 5 and 10 horsepower, and that's rated at 100% duty cycle rating. The spindles can be used for both single or three-phase operation. We also offer these machines with manual tool changers as well as a quick change model, depending on what your application requires. This machine features our upgraded phenolic high flow vacuum table. We also offer these tables in an MDF product as well as aluminum by special order. All tabletops on Shop Saber CNC's are machined with the CNC machine itself to ensure accuracy from cutting head to the bed. This reduces your need for gasketing between the spoilboard and the vacuum table and provides a truly more accurate table surface. It also means you have full table coverage by the spindle. The secret to our superior vacuum table performance is our exclusive Shop Saber engineered vacuum grid. This applies about 50% more vacuum to the underside of the spoilboard than our typical competitor. This simply means that our tables hold parts better. Plus, all of the main vacuum connections under the table are hard pipe. This provides better vacuum flow to the table, which also means the tables hold parts better for a much longer period of time. The flex hoses used by many cheaper machines tend to restrict vacuum flow. Restricted flow means you'll need a larger vacuum pump to achieve the same results with a vacuum table. One of the unique design features on the Shop Saber IS Series CNC's is we include four independent vacuum zones, each with two ports per zone. This enables you to do special fixturing setups to get the maximum vacuum to the part you're trying to hold. One more advantage to Shop Saber Engineering is that a front cross brace in the frame performs as a vacuum plenum and also includes the valves to control each of the vacuum zones. This works as a reserve tank and helps maintain a steady flow of vacuum even as parts get cut out on the machine table. This specific machine show, is shown with our special hybrid T-slot option, which also provides a lot of flexibility in part fixturing in addition to vacuum. Remember, there's an old saying, you can't cut what you can't hold. That's why we spend as much time engineering the hold down methods as we do with other areas. This machine features our optional part locator pins. These are used to align material quickly on the table. It makes it much easier for the machine operator to load and unload the machine without having to reset zeros or find material edges. The IS series pin option features five steel pins that are pneumatically controlled. They are automatically drop out of the way as soon as the spindle turns on. You don't have to worry about hitting a pin with the cutter. And a lot of people don't realize that since the pins are machined into the table, they can be incorporated into a fixture setup. This can be used to ensure repeatability as the fixture is removed and replaced on the machine table. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Shop Saber IS series represents the world's best value in a three axis high production capacity CNC router. These machines simply blow away the competition from start to finish and give you an edge over your competition. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaver.com. Thank you for watching.